Hey! Okay, today I'm making another soap for my garden series and today I'm going to be using a red clover fragrance with a sweet pea fragrance and then I'm using a fragrance which is sort of, um, it's a very odd fragrance, it doesn't really smell like anything so in it does smell of something but I can't put my finger on what it actually smells like so in my mind I'm thinking gourd patch you know where you grow pumpkins or your um, squash and that kind of thing um, it's kind of given me that kind of a vibe so I want to bring in the sweet pea fragrance because I didn't just want to do a plain sweet pea soap I wanted to bring that in with something else rather than it just be like a plain boring sweet pea I wanted to get something else in there so this fragrance is going to work um, all together so I'm mixing two fragrances together or three fragrances together just to get this idea in my mind into soap so think gourd patch and sweet pea so everything's sort of growing at the same time so I guess at the height of summer you've got everything in greenery you know everything's green and everything's flying crazy like it does so we get to spring and it's sort of you know a slow gradual build up and then you get to summer and it's just like it's almost like slow down because there's that much that's growing all at the same time and you've got to sort of keep on top of it. But that kind of um, vibe is what I'm going for with this one. So I haven't got a name for all of these soaps yet. I've just got my fragrances down and the names will eventually come. There's a few I've got. So I'm doing um, like a herb knot garden and things like that. So you'd have a knot garden with like all, where you place all your herbs. So I'm calling it herb knot garden. And then there's um, others I might use pergola. Um, you know, summer house, maybe I've used orangery, so I can't use that one now, which is a bit of a pain because I've got one that I wanted to use that for. But I'm thinking all the different sort of garden structures, um, and sort of going along those lines because I didn't just want to say, you know, orange, lemon, sweet pea, or something like that, calling my soaps. Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm just going to get on and make the soap. Okay, bear with me, righty ho, right. Now, my last two videos, you've seen what I've done um, off camera. <laughs> or you, rather, you've not seen what I've done off camera. But I'm going to show you today what I do when I'm using my bucket right to capacity. I'm just going to roll these sleeves up a little bit because wearing white while making soap is just a really stupid idea. Anyway, so I pour in the lye, and as you can see, it goes all the way to the top and there's like maybe two centimeters absolute maximum left so to stick blend I have to do it on slow to start with So sort of bring it slowly to the top and you'll start to see it emulsify. I just have to be really careful because I thought I'd show you what I actually do because, oh, you know, now, you'll, now you can see why I get stressed putting it on camera. <laughs> Sort of stirring it in just to make sure that it's completely incorporated now you know why I need slightly bigger buckets I have looked online but I can't find sort of like an in-between size so I think these are like a five and I want like a seven and a half but the next one is a ten and I don't want a 10, I just want, you know, just slightly bigger than this. Or even just wider would be handy. I'm just going to keep searching, I'll find them. Somewhere, they'll be out there. Okay, I'm going to be using three colours today for this one. I've sort of got like red clover in my mind. And... Maybe like a courgette yellow, you know, like a flower, that kind of a colour. But I'm going to use orange, and then my sweet pea. So I'm, oh, I don't want that. I'm going to use um, purple. So 
I'm using like a red for the clover, so red clover. Oh bugger. Um, just ignore the mess I make. Red clover, orange and purple. So an explosion of colour really. I should really put a green in as well, but... Hmm. Do I put a green in? Don't really need to, I don't think. I can hear you all saying yes, so wait a minute. <laughs> Let's put a green in as well. I have a jug. And I think we'll use a nice jewel green. I'll use a nice jeweled green. So I'll use bejeweled green here, which is that one. I don't quite have like a garden green, so I'm gonna just have to pull off some of these. I have a bit less in each one. Okay, so a little more in there. So we'll do a four colour swirl, so, oh, so the, uh, <laughs> this better go right, otherwise it's your fault, isn't it? If it goes wrong. <laughs> It'd be your fault if it goes wrong. Okay. Clean up the mess as we go along. Righty-ho, so spoon and orange. orange. That was clementine orange from the soapery. Then I'm using purple berries from Mica Mama. It's a nice one. Then the terracotta from Mica Mama, which I've used just recently. This is so good. Proper red. A lot of them are really expensive. It's, it is quite expensive actually, that Mica Mama one, but it's worth it because it's really, really nice. And then our green. So I will mix these off camera, otherwise the stirring is just going to get on your nerves. It gets on my nerves, so I'm going to just pause and come back. Okay, so I've mixed in my white as well. I thought, oh, let's go the whole hog and just get this done. So I want to add my fragrance in. I'm just gonna put a bit in these colours. And then the rest in there. Seems to be fine. She's going to thicken a bit, I think, so I'm going to move now. Just stir those in. Let's bring the moulds in. Be that sweet pea, I expect. Okay, Let's just move really, really fast. And we might just do a drop swirl today, just because that's moving too quickly to be able to control <laughs> how fast it's moving. I had a feeling it might, so it's kind of almost prepared, ready, but not quite. I 
hopefully we'll get a nice effect in there. Well, I wasn't quite expecting a blooming watercolour painting, but there you go. <laughs> you know how it goes, don't you? In this room. I haven't had one of those for a while. I did, I was thinking, oh, that sweet pea, you know, I know that fragrance, it moved pretty fast the last time, but I think I only did a one colour. Yeah, I did. We're going to have an ugly soap. Do our best anyway. Let's see if... Oh God, look at that. It's like rock hard. If I can just push down that white a bit though. Because otherwise my loaves are going to be too high. And then the colours have stayed. Obviously the white will thicken more because of that TD. You all know how that goes, but I need to just push it as much as I can. Ooh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay, thankfully I've got lots of colour left. So I'll just make it Look kind of something. <laughs> I don't really like it when you've had to mush it and then you see all those horrible sort of, you know, squishy bits. So as, nice, as long as there's some sort of uh, nice globules of soap like that, then I don't mind it as much. I don't like it to look like you can see all the squish marks then. So I'm trying to avoid that and then I'll just probably leave this as it is, you know. But there you go, now you've seen how things go. If you're a new soap maker or even an old soap maker, we don't lie on this channel. <laughs> we show all of the nasty bits as well. shame but there you go it happens I was being ambitious wasn't I with that fourth colour so that is your fault it is your fault <laughs> it is your fault I told you I told you okay not really much else I can do with that other than cry look at the mess I made might be quite pretty inside though. We'll have to wait and see what it looks like when we cut it tomorrow. It'll be quite interesting to see the design inside with that being practically thrown in. Well, it's certainly an explosion of colour, isn't it? Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Hope we can redeem ourselves in the next video. I've got another one to make after this, so I shall try and choose something <laughs> a bit less stressful. Okay, I'm going to leave it there because I can't really do much else other than just leave it there. Let's tidy up a bit on the sides. At least we got it in the mould. We didn't quite get soap on a stick and I'm always thankful, you know, to not get soap on a stick. Because there's nothing worse than that when you, you hold, it's like, it just, if I get soap on a stick and it's been a long time since I have, 
it just puts me off like if it's especially if it's the first soap of the day and that happens it just throws me off for the rest of the soap making session i do you know try my best to bring it back but when that happens it's just oh oh it can make you feel so mad and when one's gone wrong then all the rest you know you I'd rather have the one that goes wrong at the end of the day. But I'm long in the tooth now with this game, so I'm used to this sort of thing happening. And the next one will not be like, like this. <laughs> it won't be like this. But I'll just show you the top. It actually isn't too bad. Look, it kind of looks like plasticine. It smells good. I can definitely smell that sweet pea. So that's the little culprit that caused that. <sighs> Never mind. We'll do our best on the next one. Huh? So I'm going to go and get this stuff put, cleaned up and put in the dishwasher. And then I will be back tomorrow to cut this one. And let's hope for the best for the next soap. Ta-ta! Right, shall we see how this disaster came out? <laughs> Here's the top look. I kind of like how this looks. I used to play this game on my phone called Clay Jam and it was like um, like plasticine characters and you had to like gather all this clay and turn it into a great big plasticine ball and then fire it. <laughs> and this soap reminds me of Clay Jam. Just get the game, the colours are the same and it's kind of got that look to it. Let's see what we've got inside this tool disaster. <laughs> it smells like... Yeah, it's almost like clean laundry. That's strange. It really does, actually. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, I can kind of smell the sweet pea in there, but yeah, it's got like a laundry type of a scent. Okay. Okay, we just did a drop swirl, didn't we? I'm never really that impressed with drop swirls, but we'll see. We're, oh, okay. Mm, kind of looks like that. <laughs> Not the best. I do tend to get a couple of these. Each year I tend to get a couple of these soaps where they don't go to plan and this is how they end up looking. I think I had one last year and I can't remember which one it was, but it's, it looks the same. It's not awful. It's actually not awful. But, you know, it isn't what I was hoping for. Never mind. Never mind. Kind of interesting. I suppose it's an explosion of colour, if anything, if not anything else. Yeah, it's quite nice. But yeah, not the best. But at least you got to see something go wrong again. You need trimming because I've got some, I don't know if that's going to pick up. It's sort of got like some indentation from probably air bubbles, I would imagine that's what that is. Because I didn't get a nice smooth pour. Let's see if you can see that again on the bottom of there. It's got some sort of texture, you see? Never mind. Okay. It's a shame I didn't um, just make the one loaf of this. And I've got two lots to get rid of. <laughs> it goes, everything always goes, but it's, um, you know, when the soap isn't your favourite and you think, oh, I wish I didn't have as many. <laughs> but it's all right. Okay. They're not too bad. It looks quite nice like that look. Okay, so I don't know what I'm making next. I've still got a load of stuff to get through and a long list. And obviously I need to do some restocks now this year because everything's sort of sold out. And I didn't have time just before Christmas to get all my soaps made like I would have liked, but 
Hey ho, I shall be back. Um, what are we doing next? The coffee soap next, I think. So I will see you for that one very shortly. Okie doke. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Ta-ta.